Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at how we make the perfect joint with PVC pipe cement. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so perhaps not one of the more, say, glamorous topics for DIY hot tubs, but it's essential nonetheless. The amount of times that I've heard customers say, well, I've put it all together, I was really careful, but my joints are still leaking. In this video, hopefully I can give you some insight with how to make the perfect joint with your PVC pipes and PVC pipe cement. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna want to clean up both the joint and the pipe. I say clean up, really it's roughing it up with some glass paper or sandpaper. The reason that you're gonna to wanna to do that is it takes off any of the residue that's used on the machinery when these are formed. So when they're formed, they're molded together, the molds do have a coating on that allows them to be removed easily. That coating can also make for a bad joint on your DIY hot tub plumbing. So when you are making the joint, really important, as you can see on the video behind me here, is you're gonna to want to rough that joint up first with a piece of glass paper or a piece of sandpaper and really give it a good, good clean. Make sure it's it both directions so that that PVC pipe cement has a good area to adhere to. With both the joint and the pipe all roughed and cleaned up, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're actually gonna put PVC pipe cement on both portions. Now, not too much that it drips everywhere and not too little that you're gonna have dry patches, but you're gonna have enough so that it coats both of the surfaces. The, the reason that you're gonna put it on both the surfaces is that quite a lot of the time these joints are really tight. And when you try doing them dry, so with no pipe cement, you can't actually get them together. But if you have some lubricant in this case it's the pvc pipe cement on both the pipe and the fitting you'll find it much easier to push together this next step is probably the step that gets forgotten by most people and it's this step that even if you're super super careful you can still end up with a, a joint that actually leaks so when you push the pipe and the fitting together you're going to want to twist it and you're gonna twist it all the way into the, well, all the way until that joint is, is actually made. The reason that you do this is that you don't wanna end up with a process which is known as channeling. So channeling can occur when you have that PVC pipe cement around the pipe and the joint. If you push that on quickly, it air forces its way through and you can end up with dry sections on either the pipe or the, the fitting. And this is where you get your leaks. So this is where you get those tiny little drips that, that drip out when it comes under pressure. And that's because of what's known as channeling. So in order to avoid the channeling, you're gonna twist, again, you, you'll have seen it on the video behind me, twist that fitting on so that you have PVC pipe cement all the way around and you have a really well-made joint. At this stage, you're gonna wipe off any excess. You don't need to have loads and loads of it around the outside. It just needs to be clean, cleanly wiped off, and you'll have a well-made joint. Finally, when you're making the joint, make sure the pipe goes all the way into the fitting. And I can't stress this enough, the pipe must go all the way in it's really good practice to actually mark a goal or a target line. So measure up against the, the actual fitting, mark with a permanent marker the goal. And you know, it's very easy to forget once you start trying to get that pipe in and you know, you've got to work quickly because the pipe cement sets really quick. You don't have a lot of time. So having that goal line is, is really important. If you don't get that pipe all the way into the fitting, it's gonna leak. It's that size for a reason, so make sure it goes all the way in. And my final tip for making those perfect joints. 
When you're lining up your fittings, once you've got the exact angle that you're looking for, put a little line on the, the center of the fitting and a line that will match on the pipe. The reason that you're gonna to wanna to do this, again, is once you start twisting that fitting, you're gonna forget the actual angle that you, you need. So if you have that mark, you've got something to line up to once you've got that fitting in place. So again, it's just really good practice to, to do that and hopefully you won't end up with any leaks and you'll have a whole bunch of perfect joints. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions at all, please hit me up in the comments. And of course, if I can help you with your DIY project, then please do get in touch. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the view. Hope you found this video useful and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.